Welcome, I'm from is a TCL 10 Plus and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So to get started you will need to connect to Wi-Fi and uh, from there you will also need to change the language to any kind of other language that uses a different keyboard. So I'm gonna start off with doing, uh, well, changing first the language. So Greek, Russian and any kind of other languages that have a different keyboard as you can see right here will work just fine. So I'm gonna go with Greek right here and then let's progress through the setup. So you wanna skip most of it. Um, now if it's gonna be easier for you, you can connect to Wi-Fi beforehand, but for me it doesn't really make much difference. You can see I can connect by simply tapping on it. And let's wait, it's gonna give us a screen that it needs to be verified uh, or the Google account needs to be verified. So as you can see, there is one way of unlocking the device uh, through the pin and that was set on the device before, but we can also tap right here to use Google account. So you wanna select it and from here, tap on a field and it will bring up a keyboard. So you wanna hold the globe icon. So hold it and go. It will pop up the two keyboards that are right now active. So you wanna tap on language so settings right here, the text, then tap on change keyboard. And from here, we can add any kind of keyboard that uses a, uh, well, any kind of keyboard that doesn't have a, a arrow next to it. As you can see, there are several arrows. So I'm gonna start with the first one, then tap on add, which is the blue button. And as you can see, now we have three. So from here, we can go back to the first page. Oops, first page and change the language back to English. And then again, progress back to the uh, locked screen. Let's use the account instead. And again, tap on the field. And again, i hold the globe icon and go to language settings, add keyboard, scroll down to an option with an arrow, which happens to be Albanian. Tap on the three dots, go to help and feedback. And then if describe your issue, you wanna type in Morse code. Now, because you probably haven't changed the keyboard, uh, like I did by mistake, um, you wanna hold the globe icon and choose QWERTY. So as you can see, alphabet QWERTY. So select it and then you'll have normal keyboard. So in here, let's type on use Morse code or simply MO and it will suggest us use Morse code as a search result. So select it, tap on a video. Once it loads, Tap on the three dots and go to watch later, which will open up web browser. Accept and continue. And no, thanks, we don't want to sync anything. And now tap on the search bar right there and you want to navigate to hardreset.info website. So, hardreset.info. Tap on three bars and go to the download category. And then download search bar, you wanna search for Android 7.1.2. Like so, and let's search. There should only be one result as you can see. So FRP bypass Android 7.1.2 and 10. Stop on download, scroll down, and this time around you wanna hold the download link and choose open an incognito tab. We do it this way so to prevent any kind of problem with the download, which sometimes happens. Uh, it basically occurs uh, that well, you start downloading and the download reaches 100% and never finishes. And because it never finishes, you can't really open it. And this opening up in incognito, it will solve that problem. So from here, once you get this pop-up, you wanna tap on OK. And once it's done downloading, choose Open. Now to install it, we'll need to go into the settings first and then allow from this source, go back and install. Okay. 
And once it's done installing, let's just tap on open and continue. And uh, as you can see, it will tell us that the app has crashed. It doesn't really matter. Now we can go back, go back once more and once more. There we go. So you want to get back to the da download search field right here and remove the Android 712 and now type in settings. So let's search it. And again, there should only be one uh, application right here. So Android settings APK download. Scroll down again, hold it, open an incognito tab. Okay, and open, install, and open it up. Okay, now before I get started uh, or continue the process, I will mention that if you go back right now, it will take you back to the uh, web browser. And uh, I'm mentioning this because if you want to get back to these settings, because for instance, you might tap on back button uh, one too many times and it will take you too far back. Uh, to get back into the settings, you will need to re-download and reinstall the application. And then again, once it's done installing, you choose open and it will take you back. And from there, uh, you will continue where whatever you left off, uh, uh, well, whatever you basically left off in the process. So um, to start off, we will need to go into the apps right here then view all 46 apps, Let's tap on three dots and show system. Scroll down, whoops, uh, scroll down to G, C, D, F, there we go, G. So we're looking for Google Play services and Play Store. So we can see both of them right over here. So let's go with the services, choose disable, disable app. Uh, now, as you can see, it tells us that the app crashed. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it already has done its purpose, which we'll see shortly. Um, this Google Location Services disagree. Let's go back because, as you can see, this is already disabled. And now let's go to the Play Store. Again, disable, disable app, go back. And now we have two of them disabled. So from here, we can go back further, uh, back to the main settings page right here. And I'm going to now scroll down to accounts, tap on add account, choose Google. And this is what the app that keeps crashing allows us to do. Uh, normally, we would not be able to add a Google account at all. This option wouldn't be even visible. Uh, and that app basically allows us to have a Google account uh, as an option. So in here, you want to log in with your Google account. If you don't have one, you can always create it. Even though we have an option to create it right here, I would strongly advise you to do it on your computer or some other device. Um, I haven't tried it through here. Um, you can also create an account specifically for this purpose right here to bypass it if you don't feel comfortable using your personal one. Um, now, I'm going to use my personal anyway, so it doesn't really matter here. Uh, so simply insert the email. And hopefully I actually remember the password. So let me try to I'm gonna put it in. So Okay, so I didn't manage to get it right. So as you can see I did log in. Uh, so from here let's tap on I agree. Give it a moment. And there we go. So we have the account. So from here go back and you wanna go back to the apps. Again, see all six uh, 46, show system and scroll down to G. Uh, there we go. And there we go, there is the two apps that are disabled and you wanna re-enable them back up. So enable, disregard, uh, enable, go back. And once those two apps are enabled, hold power key. So once it boots back up, we're going to progress to the setup screen once more. And there will be a key difference that you can see right away, almost right away. And there it is. So this is previously the uh, page that was telling us to verify our account and we needed to insert a Google account. And now it's just simply telling us that, hey, account was added. And it's literally the account that I have added uh, as a new one 
and the uh, and the settings. So from here we can tap on next. Now also mentioned that the process is still not finished. Uh, the device is still not fully unlocked, so we need to basically skip through most of this at this point and simply get access to the home screen. So that's basically why I'm skipping majority of this stuff. And also, as you can see, the app keeps crashing. It doesn't really matter anymore. So every time it just pops up, just tap somewhere else. And there we go. So as you can see, we're done with the setup. And from here, you wanna go into the settings straight away, scroll down to system, reset, factory data reset, and reset phone. Once you tap on erase everything, the phone will basically start the process of literally unlocking itself. So let's wait for the process to finish. Um, and once it has, we should be then greeted with the Android setup screen once more. So I'll be back once that is actually visible. So as you can see, now the process is finished and this time around, you can go through the setup process as however you like, adding all your accounts and setting up everything that you'd like. Uh, the device at this point, like I said, is now fully unlocked. So you can literally do whatever you want. And one clear indication of the process, uh, well, of the success of the pro process of bypass is the fact that we can actually now choose to set up an offline which if the device would still be locked would not be accessible to us we would be forced to connect to some kind of wi-fi now once more i'm gonna skip majority of this just to save on time and show you that i can basically set up the device without any kind of interference without any need to do verify anything And there we go. As you can see, the device is now fully set up. I didn't need to provide anything. So that is how you would bypass the Google verification on the TCL 10 Plus. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.